when you're measuring extremely tiny amounts of a substance, it can be helpful to use molar mass. According to the internal system of units, a mole is the amount of any substance that contains the same number of elementary entities, typically atoms or molecules, as there are atoms in 12 grams of the isotope carbon-12. Molar mass is the mass in grams of one mole of any given substance. To find an element's molar mass, start by checking the periodic table for relative atomic mass of the element. This is usually located under the symbol and name of the element. For instance, the relative atomic mass of zirconium, Zr, is 91.22. Next, multiply the atomic mass by the molar mass constant, which is equal to 1 gram per mole. For most elements, this means that the relative atomic mass is equal to the molar mass. For instance, zirconium has a molar mass of 91.22 times 1 gram mole or 91.22 grams mole. However, some elements such as hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen only occur naturally in molecules of two or more atoms. In these cases, you'll need to multiply the relative atomic mass of the element by the number of atoms in the molecule. Then, multiply the result by the molar mass constant. For example, the molar mass of H2 is 1.007 times 2 times 1 grams mole, or 2.014 grams mole. Finding the molar mass of a compound is a little more complicated. First, you'll need to find the chemical formula for the compound. For example, if you're calculating the molar mass of water, you'd start with the formula H2O. Then, Calculate the molar mass of each element in the compound. Don't forget to take into account the number of atoms of each element when you make your calculation. In this case, the molar mass of the two hydrogen atoms is 2.014 grams mole, while the single oxygen atom is 15.999 grams mole. Add them together to get the total molar mass of 18. 0.013 grams mole.